Cave Springs students have a new place to call home after years of planning and months of construction, but it was a turbulent road to getting there. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us how school leaders did it and what's left to finish. Whether it was gutted to the studs, demolished, or a brand new addition, Roanoke County's renovation at Cave Spring High School is complete. Cave Spring School Board member Mike Ray led the tour Friday and says it was a race to the finish. I was here last week and I said, saw cabinets in the hallway and I said, uh, and Troy Smith, the president of Avis, said, They'll be done today. They'll be done today. Cave Spring was 50 years old and plagued with problems. Completing this project was no easy task. There were hiccups from planning to budgeting to even COVID positive workers delaying construction. But Superintendent Ken Nicely says he's proud it was on time and on budget. The mirror by working together to get the project back on back on track and um, you know, get everything set up to take care of the students and uh, you know, 19 months later, we've got, uh, in essence, a, a beautiful new school. $43 million for new classrooms, admin space, a rehabbed auditorium, and with digital clocks everywhere, no reason to be late. Most of the final touches are minor, but there is still one major problem. The gym is still under construction because the floor and bleachers got messed up. So we'll be continuing to work with the uh, contractor to make sure all those things get done. And, um, and not leave anything you know, undone for the students. So uh, we'll get that list together and make sure everything is done properly. The pandemic helped the process along, eliminating students from the mix in the spring, but also delayed construction material shipments. Now they can't have an open house to show it off, but say the feedback is good. Many parents who came to pick up laptops and had the opportunity to go through, and I've had numerous emails praising you know, what it really looks like now. In Roanoke County, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. School leaders say some of the tech upgrades ended up being a blessing in disguise because they're now helping teachers better instruct their online classes during our pandemic.